All right, Coach Turnbull, we are here at probably one of the top five facilities in the country, a standalone wrestling facility here at WVU. Coach, you want for nothing here. Can you give us a little bit of a tour? Oh, I'd be glad to. You know, it's still very new to us. This is our third year in this facility. It's a $1.8 million facility. All the lines crossed where we were able to get this done, and it's still one of those things, kind of those pinch me things when I walk in. that We, we started in this condemned little storage area over in the Coliseum, they upgrade us down to this field house where we had radiators on the wall, basketballs that came over the top of us. Then we came out here where we had a two mat room and then we just got this done three years ago and it's just a, it's just a wonderful place to work and work out in. Okay, who is this right here when you walk in? Who's right here normally? Who's secretary? right here? We have a secretary here. Okay, all right. Now. This what you, what you have here, this, uh, all my years of doing this, this is the only one I've ever seen. This is Greg's Outstanding Wrestler Award from the NCAA Tournament. And until we fire him, I guess he'll be gracious <laughs> enough to, to let us showpiece this here. So this is a, a really nice thing to have. And then we've got the pictures of the national champions and hope to fill the rest of those plaques up here soon. You give your guys a little incentive. I noticed uh, the All-American and the National, the All-American board has extras waiting. Yep. Okay, Raiders got to go in there, but you said he, you guys don't do that until after the season. That's correct, until right. he graduates. And you got... You got a little mural there, but that I tried to argue away, and I didn't win. And as soon as that went up, my son ran in and said, that's larger than life-size, Dad. And he was right. <laughs> it's he, bigger he, than you. He was right, unfortunately. And this, uh, this turned out really nice. They put $65,000 just in the graphics. Wow. So, I mean, they when they decided to do it, they didn't cut any corners. They wanted to do this right, and... And it really did turn out. It, it's kind of like building a house that you have all these little decisions to make, and when you get done, you often say, "Boy, I wish I would have done this differently." But when we got done, we we felt we pretty much got it all, got it right. That from just every little thing, you'll see the players lounge here in a little bit. It's kind of that right sign of an artistic brain that none of us have. That it's in the shape a glass shaped room in the shape of a wrestling mat is how they designed that. And it's kind of the hub of this center here. All right, can we check out the lounge here real yeah, quick? Yeah, we can do that. Um, the lounge is unbelievable. I got to sit in here and do some interviews and uh, watch some NCAA finals matches that were going on. And uh, you guys got you got two computers. I yeah, mean, it's really a great multi-purpose area. That it was fun to watch these guys discover how to use this facility when we first opened it up. And one night, I think the second week, I forgot something. I came in and it was 10 o'clock at night. And there were four guys in here studying because they felt they had a place that's their own. You've got two computer pods, you've got a table to study on, you can watch film, you can play with a pool table, you've got um, a refrigerator, cool. a microwave. You, it's really a, a great multi-purpose area. The other neat thing of this facility is there's no, there's no keys. We just can buy a computer. If someone quits a team, we delete them. If someone comes out, we add them. Their ID card, their four, last four digits of their ID, get them in any time they want to. So they can come in and study, they can come in and work out, they can come in and use the computer, the printing services. This really becomes their facility. We, they have to have a special code to get into our office, so there's certain areas they can't get to, but they can get into this area, the wrestling area, their locker room, anytime they want to come in and work out. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this sure. thing. We'll sure. go just through your office. Offices are offices, Coach, wherever you go. So yeah, there's well, the offices. Well, we got... All our offices here, we've got a large screen television on the, oh, on the wall where we can watch film. This is uh, a new locker room that's going to be done next year for us. that has got a television and VCR, DVD player and so forth. So it's going to be very, very nice also. You come, come through this way, we've got starters pictures on the wall here. Then we've got a team shot on the wall over here. Okay, and then you have your All-American board here. We've got an All-American board. And then what, we, what we've done is we've put the NCAA championship brackets on the wall here so the athletes, as they come into practice, they come from their locker room through this door, they can kind of see the story as it unfolds. And here's a, here's a neat little statistic for you on Greg. That I know you interviewed Greg, and, you know, he won three NCAA titles and was outstanding wrestler, but here's a statistic I just, I think, is impressive. This was his freshman year, his first match at the NCAA tournament, and he was a little nervous, he gave up a takedown. Mm -hmm. This is the only time he was scored on in his three NCAA tournaments that he won. He wow. gave up a takedown his freshman year in his first match and never was scored on. He gave escapes up but never was scored on again. And it's three titles. Right. Wow, that's really impressive. That's, so, that's really impressive. So the goal is to walk past what you can do, 
okay? And to one of the finest mat rooms I've ever seen in my life. This rivals Penn State. This is unbelievable. And this is a standalone facility. Four mats, coach. What is the square footage? Do you even know? I don't know the square, square footage. Foot. And there's actually some more graphics. We've got uh, two murals that are going on these two sides. And we've got some uh, motivational sayings going on this wall. The neat thing, the scoreboard here is a great scoreboard. It, 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 we can program the entire practice. There's two boards controlled centrally. And we can, I'll turn it on for you, but we can program three minute go, 30 second rest, two minute go, minute rest. We can put the whole practice in and never touch a stopwatch again. Wow. The guys can come in, if they come in on their own, they don't need someone with a stopwatch. So they just plug in what they want. They can put themselves through a workout. Uh, I'll turn this on for you. This is like, do you guys get lost in here? It's so big. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Watch the big one. Here. So here, there's your clock. Wow. They can program whatever they want, just start it up, and uh, put themselves through a workout without someone coming in here. Okay. This uh, half wall really has worked well, where this just flows and becomes part of our facility. Where wow. We've got all the cardio machines here. We've got some dumbbells. That wall down there is a really kind of neat wall. We've got the different plyo boxes, and we've got the med balls, the core balance balls. But this wall is pretty unique. And you can use this a lot of different ways. These different bands, they hook around their waist. It gives them tension. They can run out with tension. They can do shots at the end of it. They can simulate almost any kind of movement they want, whether pulling, different kind of wrestling specific time with steady pressure on. With these, they hook these over their shoulders. They can do explosive squats up on the platforms here. This wall is a, is a pretty creative way that they can get very wrestling specific workouts done. Some band training. Yep, and, and also then taking it further, you got the jump ropes, you got bands in here where they can hook up, partner up, do shots, they can run, they can run backwards, we can do a variety of things. Stretching. These band, do stretching at the end of practice. And like some wrestling rooms, most wrestling rooms, these have windows. You have windows. You got windows Lots of windows. Around and it's, it's just, you know, it's just a really great place to recruit for. It's a great place to work in. When we did the dedication that we had, uh, and I had to swallow the advice I give my wrestlers that when you're in the finals, you want to you treat it like any other match. You don't want to make it too special. Well, we had the dedication and they had three speakers, the president of the university, one of the main donors, the athletic director, and I guess four of myself. And when I looked around, there were, the were, president of the university was there, there were seven donors that had given more than $2 million to the university, there were six different deans, and to go up there I decided I better say something good, <laughs> not just go up there. But really the crux, but you had a lot of thank yous to do, but really the main thank you was to, and we had many wrestlers come back for the, for the dedication, and the real thank you went to all the wrestlers that came over time, committed themselves to a path of excellence and then left a part of themselves in the program that without them, this didn't have the respect of the people that wanted to donate and make major contributions to get this done. So the real thank you went over uh, you know, my 32 years here, the people that have come and have committed their path to excellence and handled themselves with the right character, with the right decision making within the community, within the university community, that people uh, rallied around the concept and we were able to fundraise $1.8 million to make this a reality. All right, well, the dual meet's coming up here. We gotta get over to the college Well, camp. you know, the dual meet, you know, this isn't my best year to talk. That, you know, we've, uh, and it does present a really great opportunity. We, we had a lineup I really believe could crack that top 15, top 10, and we've had a variety of things where we've got six, second, and third team guys in the lineup, and it's very hard pressed for us to win dual meets, but what it does do, and it doesn't make it easier after a match, but it's given some people in our program that have worked very hard an opportunity to get some experience. They're gonna get a lot better. We graduate nobody. We have one senior that we dismiss from the team, but we return everyone, and we'll have these guys, these six people that are getting a lot of experience because I think three or four of the guys that are out, will not, we will not get back this year. So it'll have benefit down the road, but it makes for a very challenging I do them a year where we're gaining a lot of experience, but it's uh, it's been a very challenging year. It'll probably continue to be a very challenging year. All right, Coach. Hey, thanks for the time. Let's yeah. get over to the duel. I appreciate the tour. Yeah, no, it's wonderful to do. I love showing it off. Thank you, Zeb.